Hey, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle Zies. I'm a holistic nutritionist right now living in Seoul, Korea, and this is Simply Nourished with Danielle. It's a channel all about living well, eating well, and making it all as super simple and stress-free as possible. Today, I wanna to show you guys how I eat healthy on the go in Korea. So I'm gonna take you to the GS25, which is a very common um, convenience store here in Korea. Korea is what I call convenience culture to the max. There is so much available to you in every little city block that makes everything so easy. 24 hour marts where you can get foods like what I'm about to show you um, whenever you need them. So these are some ideas of if you are hopping into the convenience store, you need a snack, you need to grab a quick lunch. Here are some of the healthier options that you can go for when shopping at a store like the GS25 or 7-Eleven or the CU. So I'm excited to show you. Okay, so here we go. The GS that I'm about to take you guys to, we call this in the hood, we call it the big GS because it's one of the bigger ones within like a two minute walk. There's like six different options of places we could go, but we call this one the big GS because it has more options and it has a pretty nice patio. So the boys actually like to meet up here after work sometimes. You can get four tall boys, four tall boys of beer for 10 bucks. So they'll like do that, they'll grab some snacks and they'll just like, out on the patio after work. Okay, first up we have Goguma. 1800 won. This is a roasted sweet potato. Really nice, classic, warm staple that you can grab throughout the winter here in Korea. And then, of course, grabbing something like a trail mix is just easy. Grab a few of these, keep them at your desk. And they have really nice, fresh stuff too. So, if you want a salad, they have a couple different types of salads. Always got to throw some corn on there. They have veggies, fruits. So if you're feeling something fresh, this is a great place to look in the fridge section. And we have the gimbops. So this is rice and seaweed stuffed with stuff in the middle. I don't always opt for these, but I really love the tuna mayonnaise one when I feel like a little treat. And then they have all these different types of eggs. So you can buy raw eggs if you want to bring them home and cook them, but you can also get roasted eggs, hard boiled eggs, soft boiled eggs, Really nice to be able to grab those. This seaweed soup can make a nice light dinner. I mean, when it comes to convenience store soups, it's kind of thinking like better, not best. Um, I really like this pumpkin soup too. It's really good, especially with a little bit of rice on the side. And then we have all the drinks. This part is pretty exciting. So you have all the different types of milks, the yogurt drinks, the coffee, the smoothie drinks. They have all these different types of coffees. You have to be careful because some of these are loaded up with sugar, but they definitely do just have like plain black Americanos. And I actually love grabbing just a plain one and adding in my own almond milk um, if I'm trying to go dairy free, which most of the time I do. Um, so I like this option when I'm on the go. A couple different types of almond milk. You can see it's buy one, get one. And then you have coconut water and juice. This section really has it all, you just want to be careful with the sugar. And then we have more sweet potato options. So this is convenient, especially if you're doing something like going hiking. You can grab like corn on the cob and these sweet potato chews, and it's just an easy, healthy snack. So here's where you can find traditional teas like ginseng, warm soy milk, this top level's all warm stuff, vitamin drinks. You just really want to be careful because there's a lot of sugar in these products, so not for every day. And then you have the dried meat and fish section. This is popular for those who are trying to do something a little bit more low carb. And then you have the teas. A lot of these are unsweetened, so these are nice to grab when you just want something refreshing that isn't water. This dried fish is a popular snack. I've personally never tried it, but the Koreans love having this like as a side when they're eating fried chicken. They have cute little work areas if you ever need a place. This is open 24 hours. And then you have these bagged teas, coffees, and juices. I'm mostly showing you guys these to just recommend avoiding them. They taste a little bit stale to me. I mean, they don't taste very fresh and there's so much sneaky sugar in them, especially in those juices you just want to avoid. Ben and Jerry's, maybe not today. So that's the GS guys. So normally they have things like in the winter, they have like roasted chestnuts and sweet potatoes. So you saw lots of sweet potatoes in there. They had one left that was roasting. Um, I didn't get it because I have so many cooked at home that I could eat right now and that I should be eating, but it's 1800 won. So that's just under $2 basically with the exchange. It's around $2. If 
but that is my go-to. There are so many good options in there that you can go for. Seaweed soup, pumpkin soup, eggs, sweet potato. Okay, while we're out, I'm just walking past my house in the opposite direction to the other GS25. We call this one the little GS25. It has a really good selection and stuff too. It has a smaller patio though, but we've been known to sit out here the odd night as well. Oh, we got more sweet potato. This one's looking a little crispy, but the truth is you don't always eat the skin. The inside's gonna be super duper good anyways. You can actually get a lot of great teas at the convenience stores here in Korea. I just made a video all about this, sharing my favorite ones and why I love them and what they're good for. So I'll link it below, but you definitely have to check that one out too. I'm shocked. Actually, little GS25 had better selection today, especially when it came to the teas. And some of the teas that I just bought at Big GS were actually two plus one at the little GS. They had more selection. So lesson learnt. I'm just about to turn the corner leaving the GS25 and then I'm gonna be at my house. Thanks for coming to get that snack with me guys. I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe um, and let me know what you want to hear about next time. If you're trying to clean up your diet and try to live a little bit more clean and green don't forget to grab my freebie below. It's a really great starter guide for reducing stress in all areas on your body because as I always say, little things add up and accumulation takes its toll over time. So there are so many simple little things that you can do day to day to support your health long term. And in the freebie below, I'm going to show you just how to get started to do that. I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing week. Bye.